This young queen has successfully raised her first daughters beneath the leaf litter of the rainforest floor. The nutritious fungus she fed them as larvae is now dwindling. If they don't find food quickly, they will all starve. The juicy grubs nearby are a staple meal for many underground opportunists, but for now at least, they will go ignored. This budding Atacephalotis leafcutter colony has only one viable source of food, and it must be collected above ground. The small scouting party of minor workers could lead any number of deadly jungle creatures back to their undefended queen. They will need time and luck on their side. The workers have located a patch of young seedlings, just what they were looking for. The leaves are soft enough to be sliced up with ease and carried back to the nest. The harvested leaf chunks are not eaten directly. Instead, they are used by the very smallest minim workers to cultivate a nutritious fungus. The ants' activities outside the nest have not gone unnoticed. They are being watched. These rove beetle larvae are distant relatives of the European Devil's Coach Horse. Despite a few million years of separation, they share the same carnivorous appetite, razor-sharp pincers, and most importantly, a fearsome final form.
The most accessible leaves are located to the north of the nest entrance. However, another atta colony has already laid claim to them. The close proximity of these nests places the two colonies in direct competition with one another. Time will tell which has the potential to grow into a great empire, and which will submit to the unforgiving law of the undergrowth. Leafcutters aren't the only ants nearby. Whilst the two Atta colonies joust for territory, Odontomachus bowery trap jaws roam the clearing. They can be found hunting alone or in small packs for vulnerable invertebrates to take back to their nest. They use snapping jaws to bludgeon their targets, exerting 300 times their body weight in a single blow. A young velvet worm, Oroperipatis ecuadoriensis, has been uncovered by the ants. These ancient mysterious predators are masters of ambush. They creep toward their unwitting victims silently on soft hollow legs. Once in range, they squirt oscillating streams of slime, forming a wide net that entraps their prey. As the sun sets below the horizon, and the thick rainforest canopy shrouds all but the slightest glimmer of moonlight, the predators of the night begin to emerge. The ants must fight. The leafcutters have raised their first major ant. Its swollen head is filled with muscle to power its crushing jaws. Few stand against it in combat and escape unscathed. 
This champion warrior will make a fine addition to the colony. The ants have been spotted by a small velvet worm outside the nest. The battle has begun. The battle has begun. Thank <laughs> you. 
There are intruders in the nest. Daybreak has arrived, and the creatures of the night scurry back to the dark crevices of the undergrowth. For the ants, however, the objectives of the day remain unchanged. Locate vegetation, defend supply lines, and process leaves. There is no time for rest. An ant has fallen prey to a wandering harvestman. Its long, slender legs keep its vulnerable body elevated high above the leaf litter. And when threatened, it can release strong-smelling odors to deter other predators. A stern response will be needed to drive this striding nuisance away. One of the ants has fallen prey to a young, leaf-mimic praying mantis. Once in range, its long, razor-clad forelegs can ensnare and impale victims with lightning speed. The battle has begun. The ants must fight.
A brightly patterned jumping spider, say Casviri de Purpurius, has subdued one of the workers. This expert solo hunter combines extreme agility with incredible forward vision, allowing it to pounce on unsuspecting prey with pinpoint accuracy. The ants must fight.
Night falls, and under the cloak of darkness, velvet worms, bush crickets, and harvestmen emerge from their hiding places. Any ant straying from the relative safety of the trail will likely meet with an unfortunate end. The ants must fight. The ants have disturbed the nest of a fully grown Phanolinus aratus rove beetle. Its hardened armor and defensive secretions make it a formidable opponent for even the largest of the leaf cutters. It will take significant numbers to subdue it effectively. There are intruders in the nest. A fully developed velvet worm measuring a titanic seven centimeters in length has come face to face with the ants. Only a coordinated multi-pronged effort by the soldiers will be effective in subduing this mammoth predator. Overwhelmed by the defensive leafcutter forces, the Harvestman decides to make a swift exit. The leafcutters have clashed to the northwest. The ants must fight.
predators are loose in the nest, the larvae must be protected. There are intruders in the nest. Forid flies are attempting to lay eggs into the heads of ants on the foraging trail. Those traveling towards the leaves can defend themselves. Those lumbered with cargo will need assistance. A fly has injected one of the workers with an egg. The ants' internal organs will be slowly dissolved and consumed by the developing larva. A territorial dispute has arisen between the Atta colonies. As the sun rises over the treetops above, the diurnal jungle invertebrates emerge once again to replace their nighttime counterparts. The ants will remain steadfast in their efforts. All must be risked for the harvest. Forid flies are attempting to lay eggs into the heads of ants on the foraging trail. Those traveling towards the leaves can defend themselves. Those lumbered with cargo will need assistance. A fly has injected one of the workers with an egg. The ants' internal organs will be slowly dissolved and consumed by the developing larva. A fully grown Shudoxiops peripultra leaf mimic praying mantis is grazing amongst the vegetation. Not only is it more dangerous in its final instar, with near perfect camouflage against the leaves, it is also a master of stealth. Thank you. 
The opposing leaf cutters have retreated from one of their harvesting sites. They may have been easily startled this time, but they'll soon be back, and in greater numbers. A fight has broken out over the harvesting rights to a sapling. Forid flies are attempting to lay eggs into the heads of ants on the foraging trail. Those traveling towards the leaves can defend themselves. Those lumbered with cargo will need assistance. A fly has injected one of the workers with an egg. The ant's internal organs will be slowly dissolved and consumed by the developing larva. Forid flies are attempting to lay eggs into the heads of ants on the foraging trail. Those traveling towards the leaves can defend themselves. Those lumbered with cargo will need assistance. A fly has injected one of the workers with an egg. The ants' internal organs will be slowly dissolved and consumed by the developing larva. A territorial dispute has arisen between the Atta colonies. The hillside Atta colony is falling behind. With their demise at hand, they have no choice but to strike back at their opponent. Fly has injected one of the workers with an egg. The ants' internal organs will be slowly dissolved and consumed by the developing larva.
Forage flies are attempting to lay eggs into the heads of ants on the foraging trail. Those traveling towards the leaves can defend themselves. Those lumbered with cargo will need assistance. The ants have subdued their rivals and achieved dominion over the clearing. As the competition withers, they will extend their territory in all directions, firmly establishing their agricultural empire. One day this colony will number in the millions, 